Welcome to the Tools for Motherhood activity series. In this video today, we're going to be looking at a pre-reading activity, and it's going to be for children zero to one and one to two, and it's called Finger Plays and Nursery Rhymes. Let's figure out what supplies we're gonna need. So before we go to the materials, let's talk about what the goal is for this particular uh, activity. Uh, the goal of this activity is to help your child begin to memorize uh, finger plays and nursery rhymes. All right, now for the supplies. We're going to need some type of books with nursery rhymes in them. Also, you're going to be needing index cards and uh, a pen to write those down on. Now, I was able to get um, some from the library. You might be able to have a nice collection from your home and you'll be able to just uh, get some from your own uh, personal library. So the idea is to find a nursery rhyme or finger play. This particular one, uh, the wheels on the bus, I'm sure if you heard it, you probably would remember it perhaps as a young child. It goes, the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. It's just a really catchy tune. It's fun to sing while you're in the car. Your little one will probably be singing along as they get older and have it memorized. But it's just different little activities that the children do. They can put their finger inside the book here. But um, the idea of it is to um, begin to uh, say the nursery rhyme continuously, um, either at, while they're at the changing table, um, what, what about while they're in the car? Um, maybe you could store the index card stack on your windowsill um, by the kitchen sink so you can consult it while you're uh, cleaning up after dinner. Or while you're preparing dinner, you can also act it out and uh, your little one can act it out as well. Um, what if you're at the stoplight and they're fussing a little bit? Perhaps you could start singing one of those songs. Um, so, all right, so let's take a look at some of the songs. We've got the, the Wheels on the Bus. Now, this one happens to have um, the old classic type of finger plays and nursery rhymes. And um, there are also newer versions. Uh, Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. But this one happened to be an under the sea one uh, with a few different pictures that your little one might enjoy. Now, the thing that's nice about these books is the cardboard pages. When children are very small, it's hard for their um, fine motor skills to be able to turn pages. So when it's cardboard like this, it's easier for them to turn without ripping the page. Um, if a page is ripped, they don't mean to. Their, their uh, finger grasp, their arm muscles are not coordinated enough to understand to do it gently with just the paper type of books. So that's why they make a lot of these uh, really sturdy ones that are nice for those really young children. Um, again, more uh, little nursery rhymes. This is called Farmyard Rhymes. Um, this one, Baba Black Sheep, uh, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master, one for the dame, and one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Again, just you can write those little short um, nursery rhymes on an index card and refresh your memory if you don't have them memorized. But before long, I don't know how long it took, but it didn't take long before I had Dr. Seuss ABC book memorized and I would be laying at bed at night and I would be able to just recite the whole book. So it's funny how children fixate on different books or different rhymes um, and, it, and they'll want, it, want to say it over and over again. And that's so normal. Obviously, it's probably something that's going on in their environment or that they're learning about. And so they want to just say uh, the same nursery rhyme over again or have you read the same book again. And that's very normal. All right. How about Jack and Jill went up the hill? My name is Mary. So obviously, Mary had a little lamb. I've always been partial to lambs. So. Um, and then other ones uh, you can just find at the library. So um, that is the activity. And have fun with your little one enjoying those nursery rhymes and finger plays. Thanks for joining today. If you would like more ideas, please check out the toolsformotherhood.com website. Happy learning.